Hey, what's up students? Let's do the Giggly Goliath. We're going to solve for the exterior angles X, Y, and Z to find the interior angles A, B, and C. So we got to find angle X, angle Y, and angle Z. And then they're going to make a straight line with the interior angles A, B, and C. So if we find the outside angle, we're going to go 180 minus the outside angle to get the inside angle. And of course, angles are not drawn to scale. And it's just a pretty picture. So let's start with X plus Y plus Z equals 360. Did you know the exterior angles of any shape? Polygon specifically always add to 360. So here are the three angles, angle X, angle Y, and angle Z. The sum of these three angles is going to make 360. So as you can see, I've cheated a little bit and I already got myself an equation set up. One, two, three W's plus 276 when you add 84, 80, and 112. Basically, when you combine all the like terms right here, when you combine all of these pieces together, the three exterior angles, they're all going to add up and make 360. And when you combine the like terms, you get 3w plus 276 equals 360. So I have myself a two-step equation. So let's solve this bad boy. Minus 276 from this side, minus 276 from this side. I'm going to have a 3w equaling, I believe this is an 84. Okay, final move. I'm going to divide both sides by 3. W is going equal, I believe I had it earlier, yep, it's 28, okay. So I've done all the math ahead of time so I can make these videos a little faster, okay. So W is going to help us unlock everything, all right. So W is 28, let's fill that in right there. Now we could actually already answer one of the A, Bs, and Cs. Angle Z was 112, so if this is 112 and the Together, C and Z makes 180. If you do 180 minus 112, I believe you get a number known as 68. So I think angle C is going to be 68. Again, how did I do that? I would take 180 minus 112, and then I would get 68. Okay, double check. 8 plus 2 is 10, and then that would make it 180. Okay. <clears throat> All right, what do we got next? Let's see here. I got two options. Let's find angle B or angle A. Mm. Well, I better find angle X or angle Y. Good thing I know that W is 28. So let's go with angle Y. Angle Y is W plus 80. Okay, so angle Y has got to be 28 plus 80, which makes it 108. There we go. So angle Y is 108. So if angle Y is 108, angle B has got to be 72. All right. Again, how do I know it's 72? Because again, see the straight line right here? This is a straight line, and the straight line makes 180 degrees. And if I've already spent 108 right there, I can only spend 72 on the other angle. Okay. Last one, let's see here. Angle A is going to be opposite of x, or not opposite, it's going to be connected to x. So angle x is going to be 2w plus 84. So let's see, where can I fit that in? Let's do it up here. So 2 times 28 plus 84. I don't have that calculator yet. Let me do that really quick. 2, calculator's not ready. 2 times 28 plus an 84 is 140 degrees so the exterior angle is 140 degrees which means the interior angle has to be 40. so angle a has got to be 40 degrees now let's double check friends a triangle should always add to 180 degrees so if we add all three of these angles together let's see what we get 40 plus 72 plus 68 sweet the three angles of a triangle add to 100 and 80 degrees. We did it. All right, cool. So again, and to recap, this is pretty lengthy. Start with x plus y plus z equals 360. It's going to make a two-step equation. One step, two step, solve for w. So start right there. Go ahead and plug w in um, right here, and then you can also plug w back into these equations. And then make sure you find the opposite. Just because you find the outside angle doesn't mean you're done. Once you find the outside angle or the exterior angle, you would do 180 minus the outside to get the inside. 180 minus the outside to get the inside. 
180 minus the outside to get the inside. So again, <clears throat> don't forget to finish the problem completely off and take your time with this one. This is a lengthy problem. That is the Giggly Goliath.